what are the best uses for GBT map embeds? I've seen folks, uh, uh, I've seen folks hour them on homepage, location pages, as well as guest posts and press releases. Yeah, you can put these things pretty much anywhere. Um, you know, a lot of people will even put them like in their footers. Um, yeah, you can put them on your location pages, of course. Um, yeah, you can do them on guest posts and press releases too. I think you've pretty much nailed all the, the normal stuff. People even do them on like PBNs um, these days. Um, actually, uh, I believe we actually offer now uh, map embeds on PBNs. Um, so yeah, if you wanted that, uh, that's another option. You know, kind of it's pretty much the same thing as a guest post, but of course it's a PBN and not a, a guest post site. But anyway, something you could add to your little arsenal if you needed to or wanted to. Um, can you think of any other places they could use map embeds that we're not kind of thinking of, or I'm not Just thinking of? Stuff like that, get them. Um, um, but you know, imagine anywhere you can get one, um, you're embedding a lot of direct data to Google about where you're located, right? So it's a powerful little tool and definitely worth using. Um, no need to spam it absolutely everywhere, um, but you know. You can get away with doing it in a lot of different places. So now I think you covered just about everywhere you can. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't. You, you, you don't need to go like too crazy with like you know trying to embed your map everywhere. Uh, you know, it might it might help a little bit to an extent, but um, you know, at the end of the day, just making sure you have good content, good on page SEO, some decent link building, including some like local links and whatnot. Um, you know, getting your reviews up. Um, you know, this, this kind of stuff, just the, the fundamentals and getting your reviews is, is going to do a lot for you. Um, yeah, you don't know, you don't need to really spam your map around everywhere. If you're, if you've done like some guest posts and some press releases and you, you, you probably don't need to worry about doing anything else with map embeds. Um, it's not like Google's be like, oh, they have a thousand map embeds and the other websites only have 10. So we're going to rank them first. I don't, I don't yeah, think it's right. really going to like, work like that at some point, right? Like, you know, yeah. you've got. 50 citations, you got 100 citations, like, you know, you go above that, you're just kind of uh, extending uselessly. Um, no real reason yeah. for it. And, you know, it's also like pretty unnatural, to be completely honest. Like, how many people are posting map embeds to other businesses on their websites and stuff? Like, it's just not a normal thing. So I'm not saying don't do it. I'm not saying it can't help a little bit, but, um, you know, just I, would, I wouldn't try to go like overboard with her, go too crazy. Anything else you don't from need that one, Nick? And buy a 2000 map embed web 2.0 blast. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, sensible. You could, but yeah, yeah not, not something I would be doing. It's probably not even going to hurt you, but um, waste of money. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.